All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we have one beast of a figure to review. We have got Takara Tomy's Masterpiece Beast Wars Megatron. Now, as you can see, the box is simply enormous, because I assume he is a big boy, if he's in scale with Dinobot, who I believe he's taller than. And the box has been scaled accordingly. Like, the camera is a mile away just to fit this in. It's a very nice box, it is a hefty box. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at all of that glory on the back there. There we have the figure posing. I've got a few stills from what I believe is the show to show how accurately they've captured his likeness and based on the back pictures, they've done an incredible job. I mean, he looks like he stepped out of the screen. So, well done there, Takara. I am very keen to open him up. I'll get you in a bit closer to the box, so there we have him in his T-Rex slash Barney mode. Look at the little stubby arms. They have really captured the essence of a T-Rex there. His faces, his eye can move, apparently. Like, I think that's what the little text says. And it shows in the photos that the pupil is moving around if it focuses. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, everything on this box, or most everything, is in Japanese, which I cannot read or speak, so I can't really give you a flavor text read here. I have no idea what it says, but the pictures look very cool. Oh, look at the size of them. For reference, the thing on his head is like a six inch tall figure, and it's the size of his head, so I cannot imagine how big this boy is going to be when I take him out. Alright, now that's probably enough about that hefty, hefty box. Let's crack it open and see the hefty, hefty figure inside. If I tilt it down, you can see they've got another image of him. Wrong way up. Hold on. There we go. He's got his little accessory, his little T-Rex head is firing a laser beam. And look at that face, look at that work. He is indeed a masterpiece, based on the box at least. But we shall see in time if the figure can live up to what this box is promising. Uh, now, I am notoriously bad at this, but... Oh yeah, that was so simple. Seems like it's just one bit of sticky tape. And yeah, one bit of sticky tape. Box laid right open. So, I'm not even sure how I can get this guy out in a way to show it to y'all. Oh my god, it's dense. It's so dense. <laughs> and here we have him. Wow. I, for scale, that is my hand next to him. And he is huge. All right. I'm a little bit in awe of this, actually. Wow. That is massive. Just trying to find something to give you a bit of sense of scale. I can do it better probably when he's out, but... So here's Black Cat, who's a six-inch Marvel legend. And look at that. This thing scales to the size of an actual T-Rex compared to, you know, a human-sized figure almost. That is insane. Not as many accessories as I thought he'd have, but then again, you know, he's a transformer, he's got the energy blast, he's got a wicked looking gun, his little toothbrush, and multiple faces, including the yes face, which they needed to include. So, packaging, 5 out of 5, accessories, I'm going to say 5 out of 5, because they all look quality, they're everything you know, expect with Season 1, Beast Wars Megatron. Everyone's talking about the rubber duck. The rubber duck was season two, so it makes sense they wouldn't include it. All right, now we can move on from that and I will get him out of the plastic and we'll have a look at the articulation and everything else. See you in a sec. As you can see, we have a true behemoth right here, and he is amazing. This is just the T-Rex mode. 
I haven't transformed him yet, but I've been like fiddling around with him in this mode for a while now because he is just phenomenal. They call them Masterpiece Transformers, and this guy, he really is. I mean, you could almost not transform and you'd be happy with this just because it's such an accurate representation of how he looked in the show and it's so massive and impressive. The eyes, you can literally move the eyes to, you know, look in any direction you want. And that just makes it super like, dynamic and gives him character. And that's on both sides. The head is fairly well articulated, as is the jaw. Yeah. Get some good opening up. Head can swivel off to the side. And back again. The legs are very well articulated, so you can stand him in a variety of like heights and poses. I'm not sure what the biological pose of a T-Rex is. I think there has been some debate recently. My girlfriend will know better. Paleobiology is kind of her thing. But, yeah. He's still an amazing looking T-Rex. And great range of motion. He's got the tiny little T-Rex arms. It's so cute. You can see that he transforms, but it's not obtrusive in any way. He just looks phenomenal. And, yeah, the height. The sheer size of this guy. I mean, all right, let me get her out again, since she's just like, that's Black Cat, so a six inch figure beside him. And you can just see he's absolutely enormous. Huge, huge figure. And then uh, if we get the X-Men Legends Shadow King, so this is a builder figure next to him. And you can see that well, obviously Shadow King's closer to the camera, but you can still see that Megatron edges him out in terms of size. And this is like hunched over, so I can't imagine how tall he's going to be when I actually transform him and he's standing upright. That's just phenomenal. And the paintwork is so good. Scaling, and the camera isn't doing him justice. But, yeah, look at that. Look at the eye, the teeth, even the tongue is articulated. The toes, every individual toe on his foot. I can't do it one-handed, but his toes are individually articulated as well. And, you know, you've got articulation in the ankles, the knees, the hips. No articulation in the tail, sadly, that I could find. But, you know, that's all right. You've got so much with the rest of him. And he's a T-Rex, so all he's going to be doing is, like, swinging his body to, you know, bitch slap people with that tail. Bitch slap? Is it a bitch slap with a tail? Questions for later. But anyway. He is amazing. His T-Rex form alone is a 5 out of 5. So, that's a perfect score around at this point. And, uh, he's just a wonderful figure so far. I am blown away by how good he is, and I cannot wait to transform him, which I guess I will do now. I'm almost sad to take him out of this because it is just such a such a beautiful, beautiful design and setup. Ah, well done, well done, Takara. All right, let's transform this guy. One moment. Okay, so let us begin the process of transforming this bad boy. Basically, your first step is to come to the head, which is tabbed in at multiple points. And the best way to sort of get that detached is to go to these little shoulder portions here, press them in, and then you just gently work it out, like so. Alright, and after that, you want to get to these back panel bad boys, and tab them out and get them open. Very tabby figure, as you can see. So you gotta have those bad boys open. Now, if you've got these two flappy tabs pulled back, 
You just want to sort of get in the back and very, very delicately peel his back apart. Can be fiddly. Can definitely be fiddly. You don't want to do damage to these bad boys. Ah! Okay, yeah, we fine, we cool. We cool. So yeah, you want to get that back opened up. And after that horrifying endeavor, you want to come to the bottom here, which I accidentally already did, and you've got to untab these lower sections. Mine came untabbed. Okay, this side didn't. Untabbed earlier, but yeah, you just untab there. So now you have those sections open and free. And you can see a bit more of the robot inside once you've done that. Now, what follows here is a bit of a cheat section. Basically, you have this section here, sorry to take it off screen, you flip it open so that you can get these side panels tucked away already. That sort of bypasses a step, makes it all a bit easier for yourself. Man, I'm always so nervous with these bad boys. Alright. So that's a bit of a bit of a cheat to make things easier for you. At this point, what you want to do is bring the legs down as it just sort of exposes things, gives you a bit of work, sorry, room in which to work. Ah, there. That's a good view. He looks a bit mangled at the moment, not gonna lie. But uh, hold on, I'll drop, drop the camera. So you can see him a bit better, and perfecto. Okay, here's a step I'd find a bit intimidating because you're basically filleting Megatron, but you take this section, which I accidentally untabbed earlier, is these whole side sections are tabbed on. So, hold on, yep, in here, you've just got to sort of, yeah. Squiggle it out, get it going there on hinges, stretch, yep, do that, flip it open. Same deal on the other side, you just want to sort of flick it down and open. So you've almost got a dragon wing scenario going on there. So you've opened up his two sides. Now at this stage, you're probably going to want to spin him around so you can see that glorious Megatron torso, and then your legs, which will probably untab themselves, but you still want to sort of bring it down and open it up a bit just to give yourself some extra room in which to work. So, yeah, he's looking a bit very stressed out, stretched out, sorry, at this point. But we're getting there. Progress. Okay, now I have a very nerve-wracking section because you got to grab your Megatron. Oh, hold on. Grab him by this lower section of his waist, this section here. And you want to hold on to the top because you're basically holding it and you are stretching him out. It is tight. Oh, it is very tight. Hooey, Rick. It is tight. Oh, there we go. There we go. So see, it pops up in a bit longer, so make sure you hold this black portion. You don't want to hold the purple portion because that will, that may well destroy your Megatron. So yeah, hold the lower black portion and then pull and it expands him out. Whew. And, and from there, you're just bringing up the head, the head of Megatron. As you can see, got a bit of swivel motion there. The Decepticon Lena is starting to form. So, yeah, sorry, I'll give you a better view of his head there. Yeah, kind of, anyway. So you just bring up the head from the back. Ah, he's fine, he's fine. All right, just a quick amendment to the head. You see it's on a little platform there as you're bringing it up. You have to pull the platform until the head clicks into place. You'll hear a click, but yeah, that's fairly self-explanatory. I'm sure you'll work that out yourselves. Ah. Okay, now what you're gonna do is bring Megatron up uh, and turn him. T 
turn him into place, like so. Get him good and ready. Make sure these flappy laps are down and out of the way. Man, he's looking mangled. Alright, now for the next step. You're going to turn him around. You're going to fold his back orangey section. Fold that in. And then fold the next one in. Uh, bring him down. Hold on, bring the camera out and bring him forward. You'll fold this down as far as it can go. As far as it can possibly go. And then bring that down, and then they just interlock. So that connects. So you've got a few folds in. But it gives you a joint and a connected back, if that makes sense. Now, from this point, you've got him flopping down, and you've got this joint, so you're just going to bring the fold together, and then it just... So, you've got the fold there, bring it in, and then you slide him back, and it should, or, if you've done it right, just click into place. If you've lined it up correctly, which I have not. Hold on, you've got to make sure the legs are bent the right way. So you've just got everything lined up. And then get it all slid into place. Which mine is not doing, because I've probably done something wrong. Uh, no, maybe it's holding. Yeah, so you slide it into place, and that's how it should look. Sorry for the fiddle there. And I think that's meant to give him a bit of waist articulation there, a bit of lift. Could be wrong. Oh no, I hadn't pushed it back far enough. Okay, yeah, there we go. There we go. So he's all in there. Cool. Glorious. Alright, now after that stress, we get to the legs. Basically, what you're going to do is you want to untab these bad boys and bring them forward and I am I'm a first time transformer instructor video guy so please be gentle in your reviews so you untab bring it out there you go twist it forward you want to open them back up. Ah! No! Okay, so you completely detach. Alright. Good to know. But anyway. So just plug back in if they do detach. It is not the end of the world. Don't stress. Stress is bad. Try and get this opened up again. Because you do need to flip out his gunny bits which are here, so you flip those out, detaching them might just be the best way to go about this actually. Close it up, just attach that back onto his leg, click it in, boom, you've got his leg cannon, do the same on the other side, uh, just Yep, keep going until it comes off. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, just take them off. It's so much simpler. Crack it open. Like that. Get your little flip going. Seal her up. Seal her up. Why are you not sealing up? Because uh, I don't have this properly lined up. Big thing with everything, Transformer guys, you always got to have it lined up. Big, big thing to remember. If you don't have it lined up correctly, you're going to have a bad time. Okay, that's satisfying click. That is what happens when it is lined up correctly. Alright, getting a bit better now. Nearly there. Now this next part is wonderfully simple. He's just going to get his legs, straighten, uh, actually don't straighten, you just twist, 
twist, straighten it out, straighten it out, straighten it out, Ugh. straighten it all out, go back here to his little T-Rex heels, and you can just flick it, oh it's a bit tough, flick it, expose his little stiletto, same deal, bring his little stiletto out, and boom. We are getting very close to Megatron being complete. Just need to sort out them back tabs and those glorious, glorious arms. Very stable. Very good sign. Fantastic. Alright guys, and for this next section, I hope you like some origami, because you're going to be folding this down. And you've got to get... No, hold on. There we go. Click that. Then you're just turning this whole thing in. If you can. Mine just seems to not be cooperating with this turn. Uh, there we go. Now there's a tab there. If you can line it up and click it in. Hold on. Needs a little bit more loving, maybe. Get in there. Get in there. Alright, now once you've got all that section folded up, you're bringing it up to here, just bringing it all up, swing it around, you want to get this section, and you're just folding it down, bringing it all down, all downtown, and then it should have a tab there, tab it into place, Right, excuse me for cutting forward there, had real issue with that left arm. Hopefully I can do better this time. So we come down, this should tab in snugly. If you line it up, uh, there we go, hear that satisfying click. Unhinge from here, it's on two hinges. So you can really get it around, is what you're aiming for. Spin it. Uh, I'm trying to get into a position where I can show you. Basically, it all should, once you've ideally moved it around as much as possible. Yep, just neatly, neatly slots into there. Alright, peeps, full confession. I was always terrible at origami. Teachers actually made me sit out in origami class in year six. So I pretty much just abandoned the back. Like, I couldn't feel myself doing it and do it at the same time. It was just impossible. So if you want to go find another video that tells you how to do the back, feel free. I will not blame you. That said, let's press on and do the arms. <laughs> yes, I understand. This is very sloppy. To be fair, though, the arms are quite straightforward. At least this one is. You simply just get in there and you just gotta bring it on down. Ugh. And then you can orient it how you wish. Got your swivel, got your head, got a lot of motion there. And bada bing bada boom. You have got your Masterpiece Megatron's right arm, his T-Rex arm, going. All right, now for this next arm, gonna be some fiddling required. Let me get this elevated for you. Could I elevate that further? Yes, I probably can. That'll do. We bring this, you've got these two tabs on either side. You're going to open them up and bring them down. Bring them open and down. If they obey. 
and then you want the tail perfectly straight so you can fold it like so and as you can see that's exposing some of the arm and then you've just got to bring it down a bit ah oh, yeah there we go there we go it's out ah oh. ah oh. Yeah, it is out, as you can see. Bit of a struggle with this bad boy. Ooh, bit of a, bit of a struggle. Not what I would term a fun transformation. Okay, now next we need to fix the tail into place. So that means bring it here, and you can see there are little clips. You just gotta bring them in. Bring it in. And you should hear a click. All right, and there you have it. The most difficult amateur transformer transformation ever put to video. He is complete. He is glorious. And despite the immense battle I had getting him to this stage, I am so glad that I did it because he just looks incredible. I mean, look at that head sculpt. One of the first things I am going to do is to switch it out for, like, the smiling face sculpt, though, because Megatron was not an uncharismatic, stoic dude. He was a complete psychopath, and I feel like the smiling face will reflect that better. I'll change it over in just a second. We'll just do some cosmetic examinations before I do. Going down, look at the body, look at the sculpt. Great articulation, so sturdy. He has the ratchet joints in his ankles. He has that critical component that Dinobot was missing. So his stability is phenomenal. And yeah, such a good figure. Huge, huge as well. I mean, the robot mode, well, sorry, the dinosaur mode, you thought was big. Again, that's him next to build a figure, Shadow King. So. Shadow King is close to 8 inches tall, and then look how Megatron towers him. That is a huge difference, that is a big old figure. A lot of plastic, very much worth it. Comes with accessories, has a crushingly difficult transformation, but looks magnificent in both modes, so... Could not be more pleased, he's... Yeah, let's get you out of there Shadow King, so... Little fame whore. Looks so good. Alright, now I'll just put this down and then we'll get on to showing him with his accessories. One moment. Okay, so now we come to the accessories stage of the review. First off, you got his little laser cannon blaster, which is huge. Like, this is a lightsaber. Or an oversized lightsaber. A light claymore, I would say, if any Jedi were to hold it. So, I'm not 100% sure, but common sense tells me to just stick it in there, plug it in, and yeah, yeah, didn't even need to read the instructions for that one. Just stick it into the T-Rex's mouth, and away it goes. You have a very impressive beam effect. Wow, yeah. And the, the roar and the teeth on that thing. Look at that excellent sculpt on the teeth. Really makes it look like Godzilla sort of, you know, spamming his blast. That's nice. That is really good. And I like that they made that so simple to add on. Like, bonus points, considering what the uh, average person went through to get him to this stage. So, that's a neat little addition. Then you have the alternate faces, so... You've got to lift his face up to access that. See, you just detach, easily done. And you expose sort of the back, which is meant to turn on and light up, but I am poor and have not put batteries in him. So we'll miss out on that. So first we'll go with Mr. Angry Face. S slide this down. Get on there, get on there, you bastard. Ugh. 
Well, luckily those joints bend the way they do, because his legs just buckled. Still, let's go in. See that angry face? That's the Megatron you know and love. Not quite as good as the smiley face, but really conveys his hatred. Primal has just screwed up one of his plans. And he is pissed. That's a great sculpt. Alright, bring it back. Let's detach. Easy to do, since apparently I didn't have it on properly. Alright, another look. Looking good. Put him down. And let's get his happy face. This is the one he will be wearing. This will be his, his actual features, as far as I'm concerned, because Megatron, Beast Wars Megatron in particular, was just a happy, suave chap. Ah, why are these faces not connecting for me? This is like the weirdest gypsy curse ever. Come on, come on. There we go, that's on. Oh, and it is... oh no, all went well. I thought he's wasted, come on, stuck. He's wasted, come on, stuck. Well, anyway. He looks fantastic with his happy face on. Let's zoom in on that. Yeah, he's enjoying the mischief he's causing. That is evil, monstrous Megatron. Yeah, this is the face. This is the yes face. Alright, and with the laser beam, yeah. We've got some damn good accessories here. Let's see what else we've got. Alright, and the next accessory we have is his big fuck you hunting rifle. Double barreled for maximum effect. If it'll focus. Got a good paint job on that. It's got a scope. Its colour scheme matches his own colour scheme because Megatron always was a dapper sort. Wasn't gonna be, you know, any clashes there. And that just goes so well with a smiling face. I fully believe he's hunting prehistoric humans for his own amusement. Yeah, that is a... that is impressive. And it goes so well with him, actually, like... I thought it was a bit out of place initially, but... Once he's holding that... It's just right. Alright, cool. So that's another great accessory. Let's take a look at the last one. Alright. Now this last one is definitely the gag accessory, but... Pretty funny as an addition, because... We have his toothbrush. And it's quite meticulously sculpted, if my camera will focus. You can see they've like, it's got individual brushes. It matches the teeth well. Fits snugly in his hand. So you can pose him brushing his teeth. Either set of teeth, I suppose, but... Oh, look at how white those are. He definitely brushes both sets of teeth. Very cool. Very nice. And yeah. Yet another great addition to what is... A fantastic figure. Look at that smile. Loving that smile. This Megatron, yeah. This is Megatron in all his glory. Once you put that grin on, it adds so much more to the figure. Super pleased with that. Super pleased with him in general. Alright. Guess I'll uh, show you some photos. gang, so that is Masterpiece Beast Wars Megatron. He is a solid 5 out of 5 figure. Absolutely amazing. Yes, his transformation can be stressful, but keep in mind, I'm quite new to this and a bit of a pleb, so maybe it's not that difficult and it was just me, so I'm not going to mark him down for the struggles I had there, because it still is amazing engineering. I mean, that he goes from being what just looks like a full-on T-Rex to this beautiful robot boy 
is so impressive. Just got dying about there for a little bit of emphasis. He's so tall, solid as, great articulation all around. Like, look, individually articulated fingers, even. His T Rex head, the mouth opens so wide, the eyes move. Ah, he's just a great, great figure all around and so much fun to have. And visually, he looks so impressive. That color scheme, the purple, is really eye catching in addition to the sculpt and the paint jobs. Yeah, he's just a 5 out of 5, and I was so lucky to get him even, because it was essentially Monopoly's bank error in my favor led to me getting this guy. Like, he was sold out everywhere pre-orders, then there was a random internet, like, internet glitch on a website, and they said they had more than they actually did. So, you know, I bought it, because I was just browsing that site in that one moment. And then, yeah, they honored that using the supply that wasn't meant to go online, so really, really had, you know, the gods, Primus, looking out for me in this particular occasion. So, could not be happier. Five out of five figure. Did you get him? What did you think? Share your thoughts below. Oh, I've got his toe up there being a little bit fancy. Uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Promise I'll do a better transform in the next video. Yeah, and if you'd like to see more, head on over to the other side of the channel called Hero House. You can see these action figures in action. It's a good time. And, yeah, that's it, basically. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again. All the best. Bye.